Thank you for joining me at the Witch's Corner for an episode of Frequently Asked Questions. Uh, today I'm dealing with a question that was sent to me, uh, a problem by a lady whose husband has been having an affair for a couple of years and the other woman has gained um, control of her husband and control of the situation and now her husband wants to leave her and her children for the other woman. So she wanted to know a couple of things. She wanted to know how to make the other woman go away. And she wanted to know how to change her husband's attitude towards her. So for this video, we're just going to start with the first part. How to make this woman go away um, or how to lessen her control and influence over her husband. And uh, one way that we're going to do this is by dividing the couple. And we're going to be doing a spell called Asunder You Shall Go. This is coercive magic. And for those of you who have no issues with this, this would be a good spell for you to do. Everyone has to decide for themselves um, uh, what, what they're comfortable with and uh, what they're not comfortable with. Uh, these are the items that we're going to need today. For our spell, Asunder You Shall Go. And we're going to be using this spell um, at, to create a mojo bag. These are the items that you're going to need to cast the Asunder You Shall Go spell for dividing lovers, and we're going to be doing it as a mojo bag. This spell can also be used in candle magic, but for today it's going to be a mojo bag. So you're going to need either a sheet of plain white paper, or a photograph of the couple. It would be preferable to have a photograph of the couple, but a plain white paper for a naming paper will do. You are going to need a pen. And in my case, um, I am going to use red dragon, dragon's blood ink and a old-fashioned quill pen. This is all that I use this pen for is for spell work, and it's very old. It's actually a cork pen with wood. But anyway, you will need either a regular pen or some magical ink and a fountain pen. You will need, of course, um, a bag to create your mojo bag. And I should say that in, in true who do tradition, you will be using a red flannel bag for all kinds of issues for everything. But I'm very eclectic and I'm non-traditional and so I prefer to vary the bags that I use. So this is the bag that I will be using for my mojo bag today. Then you will need some items for your bag. You And what I have chosen today is cayenne pepper, um, a cat's claws, and there are actual cat's claws in here. They're just uh, collected from around the house when my kitty cats naturally lose their claws. And thorns from a rose bush. So we're going to start by first on our sheet of paper. Uh, since we don't have um, a photograph, we're going to use the naming paper. So first let's tear the edges of our paper so all four sides are torn. Okay, on our sheet of paper, on one side of the sheet of paper, we're going to write the name of one of the individuals of the, within the couple. And on the other side, we're going to write the name of the second individual that makes up the couple. 
So in this case, on the left side of the paper, I will write down the other woman. And on the right side of the paper, I will write down Mr. John Doe in this example. And now, in the center of the paper, we're going to draw a red line with this red ink. And as you're doing this, you can be speaking your intentions and venting and raging and get all of your anger and emotions out towards this couple. So there is our petition paper. Now when the ink is dried, I'm going to tear this paper in half. As I do so, I'm going to speak my intentions, what I want the energy of this spell to accomplish. May the other woman and Mr. John Doe be irreconcilably divided. May they be unhappy together. May they want to split from each other. May this drive them asunder. Okay, now what I'm going to do is because I want um, this relationship and this woman to go away, I'm going to fold this paper three times and I'm going to fold it away from me. So we will fold it once, turn it to the left, fold it again, turn it to the left, and fold it once more. And we're going to put this paper inside our bag. Now we're going to take Mr. John Doe's side and we're going to repeat the process. We want this couple and this relationship to go away, so we are going to fold it away from us. So fold it once, turn it to the left, Fold it a second time, turn it to the left, fold it a third time. And ironically, even though we are trying to separate a couple, both of their names are going to go, their name papers are going to go into the same bag. So once you have your name papers inside your mojo bag, you're going to take a small sheet of paper and your pen or your pen and ink, and you're going to write a phrase of eight words, two words per line. And it's going to start this couple, the spirits. shall divide with malice. Now, you're going to fold this paper again three times away from you. Fold it once, turn it to the left, Fold it a second time, turn it to the left, and fold it for a third time. Now I'm going to place this paper inside this mojo bag between the two name papers that are already in here. You're dividing them. So I want to put this paper between the name papers that are in there. To this bag, which we've added both of the name papers for both of the individuals that we want to split up, we are going to add some ingredients. We're going to add three ingredients. The first thing that I'm going to add 
is the thorn from a rose bush. And I'll choose this nice big tall thorn. So I'm going to add a thorn from a rose bush to make things. And you're going to tell the ingredients. You're going to tell it what you want it to do. What is its job to do? So thorn, you will be prickly, uh, like a thorn in the side of each of these individuals. They will rub each other the wrong way. They will be uncomfortable. They will be prickly with each other. They will be disagreeable and quick-tempered. They will be irritated and agitated. The next ingredient that I'm going to add is a cat's claw. It's very hard to see if you can see it at all, but it is there. Cat's claw, as cats hiss and bite and snarl and swirl at each other, so will this couple. The last ingredient I'm going to add is a pinch of cayenne pepper. And I'm going to tell it cayenne pepper. May tempers be hot and flare. May this couple be unhappy together. May they no longer want to spend time together. May they be divided by their own actions. So now if you want to anoint your um, your mojo bag with an oil, you may. I have a little oil here, a Ned Champa oil, and I'm going to anoint this bag in the four corners. Keep this bag in a safe place. Uh, keep it in uh, maybe a little box under your bed or in the closet, someplace dark and safe and secret and private. Uh, try not to dwell on the spell. Try not to think about it. Let it run its course naturally. And this is how you create a mojo bag for the Asunder You Shall Go spell to divide a couple. Thank you for joining me at the Witch's Corner for Frequently Asked Questions. I'm Amethyst Rain, and you'll find me at LadyAmethyst.com.